guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Susanna and today I wanted to make another kind of cleaning and decluttering video just because I know we're staying at home so much right now and I feel like it's really really important to create a clean and decluttered organized home that you can just enjoy yourself in and be productive in and so I wanted to share with you guys some of my top tips on how to declutter because personally I know the struggle of decluttering it's taken me a long time to truly get down how I like to declutter my home and really make it just a very organized nice atmosphere so without further ado I'll keep the intro really pretty short but I will go ahead and get started with tip number one so my very first tip is when beginning the decluttering process I like to get three different trash bags. Now let me explain. So the first trash bag is for, well, trash. And you can use boxes. It doesn't have to be trash bags. That's just kind of personally what I use. So the very first trash bag is for trash. So that's when you are looking through all of your items and you know that this item no longer has value. You couldn't donate it. Maybe it's just papers that you need to get rid of. You can put that in the trash. The second trash bag is a Goodwill donate or even sell. Just stuff that you know for sure you are wanting to get rid of. You can put all of that stuff in that bag. So the third trash bag is for maybes. And let me explain the maybes because you have to be really, really careful when you're decluttering when it comes to maybes. Because when you are decluttering, you really don't want to spend too much time looking at each item and just going back and forth on whether or not you actually want to keep it. When I'm saying maybes, I mean the things that you really just cannot decide on if you want to keep or not. Try to keep these minimal because when you're in the decluttering mood, it's important to, if you don't use it, just to get rid of it. But if you truly cannot figure out if you want to keep it or not, put it in this third bag of maybes and set a date probably like a month from the date that you are decluttering and put it in a closet. And then once you reach that date, if you have not actually needed anything that is in that maybes bag, go ahead and get rid of it. Don't even look through it, just get rid of it. And that's how you will know, okay, I really don't actually need this. So to begin the decluttering process, again, you need these three bags, trash, goodwill, and maybes. Okay, tip number two, this is kind of a weird one, but it's one that's actually very, very helpful for me, is to put on something that's motivational. So for me, I whenever I'm decluttering, this is kind of silly almost, I love to put on the TV show called Hoarders. So I have Hulu, so I literally just go and I will put on Hoarders, and I don't know what it is, but something about that show just makes me like, oh, I really don't need this. I can just get rid of it. And if you're truly trying to declutter your home, honestly, stuff like that kind of helps. Or even putting on something like Fixer Upper or something where you see the end result, you see all these beautiful homes. For me, that can just be very, very inspirational of what I want my home to be and my end goal. So I like putting on stuff that's motivational. Of course, you can do like music and stuff if that's your vibe, but for me, I like to have shows on in the background that kind of inspire me to declutter even more. So my next tip is to choose a room. So again, the decluttering process can be very, very overwhelming. So start with one room. It's easier not to jump around too much. Pick one room. For example, I chose my living room to declutter the other day. And I always feel like it is most important to start with any kind of drawers or bins or anything like that that can really collect stuff because I feel like generally for most people that is where all of the clutter forms is in drawers cabinets stuff like that so that is where I like to begin because it's kind of the hardest thing to declutter so if you start with the hardest get it over with and then you go to stuff that's on display and you probably don't have as much stuff just laying out as you do on drawers I could be wrong it's different for every person but for me I find that most of my stuff ends up gathering and taking over my drawers. So start with your drawers and I like to take everything out. 
That is my next tip is once you get to those drawers, take everything out. It is super easy to open up a drawer, look in the drawer and say, eh, I don't really need to get rid of anything. But if you sit there, take everything out, that way you can touch and see each item. And honestly, there's probably going to be a lot of items that are buried underneath each other. If you take all of those items out and see them all and realize, oh, I haven't used this in forever, it's going to be much, much easier to declutter and actually get rid of stuff that you don't need. So just an extra little tip that I like to throw in there is I always like to kind of wipe out the inside of my drawers once I do take everything out because first of all, that keeps me accountable on actually taking everything out of my drawers. So that's always good. And second of all, you know, those drawers can get nasty and it's just might as well. If you're taking everything out, you might as well just clean them out really quick and really maintain that nice clean home. Because you wipe down your kitchen counters every day, why not every now and then clean the inside of drawers? You will be surprised on how much dust and nastiness kind of builds up in those. So I like to wipe out the inside of the drawers after taking everything out. Okay, so my next tip is once you've gone through all of the drawers, then you can kind of move on to the other stuff. So if I was working in my living room, then I would start with the drawers that are underneath my TV. And that's kind of really all of the space that I have in my living room that can collect clutter that I don't really see. Then I would move on to like maybe pillows on my couch and I would get rid of ones that I don't need. Stuff that's on display. And that's usually not going to take as long. So my next tip to kind of help you decide if you need to keep it or not, is remembering this rule. If you have not used it within the past year, just get rid of it. That is usually a really good ground rule when it comes to decluttering. If you have not used it within the past 365 days, just get rid of it, because you're probably not going to use it in the future. My next tip is a really hard one for me personally, and this has taken me a while to really get down, and I think that it's something that a lot of people just don't even think about, but be careful not to assign meaning to something simply because maybe someone gave it to you. So there's a lot of things that maybe a friend gave it to me and I feel bad about getting rid of it because I assigned this meaning to it because this loved one gave it to me and I feel like if I give it up, then that means I'm hurting this person who gave it to me, which is so silly. I don't know. Does anyone else feel like that? Anyway, just be careful not to assign meaning to things that people give you because if you don't use it you know you're never going to use it and it's just gonna sit there in your home and collect dust so if you don't use it even if someone gave it to you it's okay it's okay to get rid of it okay so my very very last tip is whenever you have finished the decluttering process in order to keep a clean and organized home, make sure you assign everything a home. So really take in where everything is right now, what drawer certain items are in, what place something is sitting on on your countertop right now. Really take that in and remember it assign it a home. That way, anytime you use it or maybe it gets moved somehow, you put it right back in its place. This is easier said than done. I know this can be difficult, but practice makes perfect. And after time, those habits can be formed. And this is one of my best tips. And I feel like one of the most said tips on actually keeping a home clean, assign everything a home. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Helpful. If you did, please comment below and let me know. Hit that thumbs up and also subscribe. That would mean the absolute whole world to me. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so I guess I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye, you guys.